Confused? What you're seeing is a physical simulation that was run and rendered by SolidWorks. The effect isn't from cheating gravity or from any fancy editing tricks. And here's a 3D printed model to prove it. So how can we explain what's going on here? If you're anything like me, seeing an illusion for the first time is a lot of fun. However, that fun turns to frustration the longer you go without knowing how a trick is pulled off. We're going to peel back the curtain on this magnetic slopes illusion to see how our perspective tricks us into thinking that the marbles are rolling uphill. This magnet-like slopes model actually took the top prize in the Illusion of the Year contest back in 2010, with the winner making his blueprints available for download, presumably to be put together with cardboard. My coworker Dane modeled it up using SolidWorks' sheet metal design capabilities, and he didn't stop there. Dane set up a SolidWorks motion study to calculate how the marbles would react in the real world, and then rendered out the motion in SolidWorks Visualize to show the full effect of the illusion. The trick works because we're viewing it from a specific angle. Our brains see the ramps as being sloped down from the central platform, when in fact, the opposite is true. But if this illusion can be produced from this viewing angle, how do we create a model that works from any perspective that we choose? I started by creating what we perceive the model to be, dimensioning my ramps as shown. There are a few different ways we could then shift the geometry so that the ramps are reversed, but we'll keep with the original by moving the central platform down. The trick then really just comes from the direction that the platform is shifted. For the platform to be perceived in the same spot from our current sight line, we need to shift it along this sight line. To establish our line of sight direction, I oriented the view to this random angle with the intent to create a plane. It's defined with the lesser known normal to screen condition, something usually reserved for industrial design and conceptual work. The move body command then translates the platform in that direction. Of course, this is all parametric within SolidWorks, meaning I can adjust to a different viewing angle with ease, or even change the platform height dynamically with Instant 3D. I had created some reference surfaces to preserve the ends of the ramps, so it only took a few surface lofts back to the platform to lay the foundation for the new ramps. I found the two view option to be particularly useful as I constructed everything. After the guardrails were added, the ramps were thickened up. I used the tab and slot feature to interlock bodies together, and also leveraged 2019's multi-body interference detection throughout the design process. The ramp supports were skewed in a similar manner, and after some cleanup, were ready to print. Everything was 3D printed in Onyx on our manufacturing lab's Mark Forge X7, which produces an excellent surface finish due to its 50 micron layer height. With the correct viewing angle and lighting, the model produces the effect of rolling uphill quite nicely. I hope you enjoyed this dissection of what I think is a really cool illusion. Be sure to check out the video description if you're interested in seeing how Dane did his sheet metal design and motion rendering. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more great content.